Hey everybody, it's Sergio FIFA here, and today, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm doing a Godly Golds, and I'm going to be doing the player named Jackson Martinez. Uh, he was one of the first people I actually played with on uh, FIFA 14, and he's pretty much a piece, so I thought I might as well put him in here. And if I do sound kind of bad, it's because I'm getting really sick, and I really don't feel that good. But uh, going on to the review and everything, this guy has 82 pace, 75 shooting, 67 passing, 78 dribbling, 59 defending, and 86 heading. Uh, four short weak foot, four short skill moves, high medium work rate, right or six foot one. And I played 13 games with him, got 12 goals, and I think I got three assists or something like that. And uh, this team I played him in, uh, him and Edder up front are just amazing. Um, yeah, they are just really good and everything. And uh, I just really like this team. This was actually one of my favorite teams I played with on FIFA. And uh, going on to his in-game stats, this guy has 81 ball control, which is really awesome for somebody that's six foot one. Uh, 88 finishing, you really don't see that on just a normal gold card. Uh, he also has 87 heading accuracy, which is pretty cool. And um, he also has 84 shot power, also. And then he has 88 volleys, which is also pretty nice. And as I said, four star weak foot, four star skill moves is always a good thing for a for a striker. And he has 87 strength, and then decent like uh, physical attributes too. So he can sprint also. Uh, I think he had 85 sprint speed or something like that, which is kind of crazy. And uh, going on to some of the pros I found for him. First pro, this guy is just amazing at heading the ball. Um, I think I scored maybe half of the goals or something with his head or something like that. Uh, some crazy amount. Uh, he just wins every single header. Definitely one of the best people that you can pick up uh, for winning headers and everything like that. And it, if you haven't checked out his team of the season card, I'm pretty sure he has like 92 heading or something like that, which means he's going to be even better at heading. But, uh, yeah, this guy just looks really good and everything with his heading-wise. And uh, he scored so many headers and everything. Outjumped, uh, I think I played, like, David Luis and, um, oh, what's his name, Dante or something like that. And he uh, got, like, a header or two over them, which is kind of crazy because they're a really good heading ball. And they're pretty big people also. So, uh, yeah, his heading is really nice, though. Another thing I found for this guy was his finishing and his shot. His shot was actually really nice. Um, I don't think he only has like 78 or 75 shot or something on his card, but his finishing is so nice. Um, it, just 88 finishing, he finishes basically everything. And his shot power is really nice too. He has a pretty decent, uh, decently hard shot, so uh, you can really get past the goalie pretty quickly, and the goalie can't really react too quickly to uh, some of the shots that he shoots on the goal. And uh, another thing with his shot was his volleys. His volleys were really nice, like you just saw right there. He had a really nice volley. And uh, a few of his volleys, I was offsides one time when I got a volley, and it was like a half volley from outside like the outside the box. and was really awesome. I should have put it in here, but I didn't. But, uh, yeah, it was a really nice shot and everything. And another thing I found for this guy was his pace. Uh, his pace was really nice also. Uh, you can outsprint a lot of people, and especially with his strength, which is kind of another pro I found for him. Uh, they just work together really well. And uh, you're able to outsprint basically almost everybody, and then his strength just holds everybody off uh, really easily. And it's a really nice combination. You really like that in a player normally. And uh, the last thing I think I found for him was maybe his dribbling. His dribbling was okay. Not really the best dribbling, but uh, he's able to keep the ball inside the box uh, like pretty easily, I guess, kind of. For somebody that's six foot one, it's pretty good. And I really, really didn't find anything wrong with it, actually. And um, I just thought his dribbling was decent everything like that. But... Uh, Going on with kind of his dribbling, he has 4-star weak foot and then the 4-star skill moves, so uh, he's able to do skill moves and everything. He's a really good player, and this is coming towards the end of the review. If you guys did enjoy this, please leave a like. Uh, comment below if you want me to ch uh, choose next for my godly goals or something like that, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.